Hey guys, I'm Hetty and welcome back to part 21 of Fan Art Feb. And for today, I'm doing a piece for the anime Your Lie in April. This is, as far as I know, I think it's a Netflix original one. But I found it on Netflix and I watched it on there. And it's a really nice music anime. It's about love and stuff like that. It is one I'd recommend if you like, like, slice of life anime and stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> I can try and find a link online, but it'd be better if you go and watch it on something like Netflix, maybe. But... To draw this piece out it took me ages to get the sketch how I wanted it because for one I've never I think I've only ever drawn a piano once before and that was when I was at school and that didn't turn out very well so that was a bit difficult and just getting the composition of the piece right as well that was just awkward so you can see I have did quite a few different positions and sketches like to try and get the guy right or the girl right and Drawing the violin was a pain in the butt as well, and I had to draw her completely separately on another sketch because it just didn't work, so yay. <laughs> but when I finally did manage to get the sketch how I like it, I just put it onto my Bristol board and used my um, Kuretake brush pens again to line it. And then I went in with markers to colour the, the people in and I thought for the background I'd use my inks which I kind of regret because to be honest I'm not happy with this piece at all how it turned out I and mean, I think I really liked it at the sketching stage and the line art stage but the finished one I'm not too happy so I might do it again another day I think it would look really nice done digitally but I don't know yet but for now I'm, I'll just leave it as it is I did use some masking fluid in the background which you'll see a bit later on in the video to help get some of the effects and everything but brush the board and ink like with a brush it no it doesn't like it at all the paper buckled and it just wouldn't go down flat so that was just really awkward oh uh, yeah um i thought today i'd talk about some of the struggles i'm having with fan art feb and my plans for after it because we're coming cl close to the end now but I've noticed because I've only been doing fan art, I'm really struggling like to think of original pieces and it's just, I don't know, I've just got like no inspiration. I mean, I've got a story, sort of a story that I want to do, which I have done some of the illustrations towards that on my channel before, which is the Nature's Warrior. And I've always got ideas for that, but for coming up with new concepts for pictures i'm actually struggling slightly so if you have any requests of what you'd like to see or any ideas to help push me along a bit for after fan art feb then please just leave me a comment below if you've got anything or any tips to get my inspiration back but i think that's the main struggle i'm having and the daily uploads are becoming difficult it's getting the editing done because i've fallen behind and i'm now uploading the day before or the night before it's just getting a bit difficult to keep on top of it and I really need time to just blast loads out but I just don't have that time at the moment um, but as for plans for after Fan Art Feb I actually have a collaboration coming up on the 7th of March so I hope you look forward to that because I'm I've got the sketch done for that one I did that before I lost my motivation and I'm really happy with how that's looking at the moment so I can't wait to finish that one but I think I might just focus more I will still do some just original one-off pieces and I'm hoping like I've said before in a video when we finally move because we have some progress now but nothing no definite dates yet but when we finally move I do want to do more acrylic paintings and get videos of those done but until I've got that bit set up. I think I might focus on my Nature's Warrior stuff just because I've been wanting to do like a little collection or an art book, something like that. Not quite a comic because I want them to all be standalone illustrations and pieces but I want them to be a sequential piece as well so they all tie in together and tell a story but pretty much either with no words or minimum words. I'm undecided on that yet, but I think I want to try and focus on doing that because it's something I've had as an idea for a few years now. And I just, I really want to make it into a reality a bit. I need to do the character designs again and stuff like that, but I don't know. I was happy with how it was going and I'm happy with the ideas I've got for it. I just haven't had a chance to actually draw many of them out. So. 
that would be fun to do. But at the moment, I think I'm struggling so much with fan art feb now as well because I actually have a convention this Sunday. It's not my first convention because we did have a little one in my town uh, two or three years ago. But that one was a really small and it wasn't very good at all. Um, I did make some profit, which was good, but I, don't, I wasn't prepared in the right way for that at all. So I'm preparing for this one now and I'm like, oh god, I've got too many pieces of artwork. Because I was trying to think, oh, what do I want to take as prints? Oh, I like this piece, I like this piece. And then it turned out I had like 40 pieces that I needed like prints for. And just pricing up how much it would be to even just get like five prints of each piece it was the price was just skyrocketing and it's just uh no i, I can't do this i've ended up self printing because i do have um an a3 printer so i can do it all myself anyway but it's just filtering which pieces of artwork to do prints of because i want i'm doing some for some of these fan art fed pieces which is another reason why i actually did this whole um challenge in the first place was so i had some fan art pieces for the convention and then some of my originals but it's like I didn't realise, because some of my friends that I'm doing it with, they tend to be a lot slower at work at doing artwork than I do. I mean, they are amazing. I mean, I'll link links to their Facebook pages and you should definitely go check them out because they're some of my uni friends and seriously, some of this stuff. One of my friends, she's wrote a book. Um, I think she's got her second one out now. She's on a third, something like that. But it is really good and you should definitely look at that and her artwork towards it. It's just so unique as well. And my other friend Helen, she does amazing fan art. So if you like fan art, you should definitely go and check out her work. But like I said, I'll leave links to those down below. But yeah, so the convention's kind of taking everything out of me. And the time I should be putting into making more videos, which is why I'm so behind on them as well, I'm putting into getting stuff ready for the convention. So I think I kind of set myself up with a little bit too much for this month and it's taking its toll a little i didn't get out of bed this morning well i got up at five with my daughter and then as soon as my husband got up i pretty much went back to bed until about quarter past ten <laughs> so uh, it was a nice chance to have a lie in but my body doesn't like me having extra sleep so i ache a little now but anyway i'll just soldier on we will get this fan art feb done i'm not backing out now um but we're coming up to the end of the video now. There's not much longer left, so I'll just leave you with some music. But thank you for watching. I hope you stick with me for the last seven days of Fan Art Feb. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.